So here we go, I'm not trying to share it again, the ladies tried all the best of nine legs. It's going to be interesting to see if those girls can, can produce the same sort of form that they produced in the semi-finals. And there you go, Fallon starts straight off with a 180. Taking total control of the first leg. Double twelve. Nicely set up. Nicely set up. Had to go for a comfort break there. You know I'm like stage matches. Rush off. having to that was a great shot there from Anastasia Check that double top again she was hitting earlier first start First leg there by both ladies. Both sat on 30 average after the first leg. It's always good and impressive to see. Four, 
Best of nine, not the sprint that the pairs is for the guys. 40. Just having a chat with the pairs winners there from the men's and uh, I said, you know, uh, the Isle of Man's best of three for the pairs. Yeah, that is even more of a sprint. And the first, oh, and if it's the same as it always used to be, it's the first name at the top of the draw goes first. So if you're at the top half of the group, you, you should get the throw all the way through. Again, obviously, oh, it's, it's uh, three ranked events this year in the Isle of Man. You've got um, two VDO and EDO ranked events and a WDF ranked event. So one dart at tops for Anna too. It was a little bit like anything you could do, Fal, and I can do the same. If you only need one dart, I'll have one dart at it. Yeah, I believe you can join us on uh, being wedge streamed as well, I think, from uh, the Isle of Man once again. Which is a lovely thing, actually. It's nice to be able to yes, have this great venue. You know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's just lovely for the, for the people at home to be able to, to jump on a live stream and watch it and see some of their favourites uh, having the throw on, on, on what's basically classed as a floor tournament, aren't they, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, and the venue for the, for the Isle of Man is, is an absolutely brilliant setup as well. Uh, right on the promenade, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. I think I remember I've been there when the blank rain is blowing in off the sea sideways and I thought I don't think I've ever been quite as cold as this before but um, other than that yes I've been there when it's sunny and it's, it's more than delightful when yeah. the polyanthers are out in the gardens there at uh, the Villa Marina and I know one year you actually want to go around the, the uh, TT circuit oh, one year I will but um, it's, too, it's too cold when we're over there it's just a little bit chilly Anna seems to keep the form up that she had in the semi-final here with a throw in really well again. Seven. She had a fantastic leg side, didn't she? Uh, Anastasia and um, I think that that was kind of a, a little turning point for her again in, in confidence and uh, 64. Yeah, I mean, is it down to the, the fact of the, of the family life? Obviously, she's got the young baby as well now, that's, and, it, and she's more contented and happy in herself. I, I, I think so. I, you know, I, I would I would agree with that. I, I think that uh, you know that's a hell of a trauma going on in your life at that, that point in time. It's a hell of a change of life sort of thing, and it, it's a lifestyle is such, not not trauma. Yeah. And, I th and I just think that, you know, it changes things a little bit, and sometimes you think slightly different about it, and and maybe that, that has helped her. And a break of throw. And in she goes again. Slight deflection with the last. Had a good visit all the same. Again, he's another one that uses the the, uh, the plastic flights uh, from our style, which I know that I mean do tend to give bigger deflections. Uh, they can do, but I think I think that um, I think there's a certain amount of wear life to them, and 
and longevity to them. And I think if you do actually throw your dart in a certain way, I don't think that's so much of a hindrance as to say. <laughs> Dan, a Dave, lovely moustache there. Dan, yeah, lovely, lovely uh, biker tash there. Um, I saw Dan Day sort of uh, in the crowd in the background there. Yeah, giving a cuddle to Paul Brown. Yeah. As you can see, a few are still in enjoying the darts, enjoying their weekend of darts. good few stay behind from the weekend just to watch the finals there's a good comeback from Fallon after losing that leg trying to break back now 60. so it's double top but she hits again with the first start the both of their finishing yeah. tops has been really good. Has indeed. So two two from this point is effectively turned into a best of five. Slightly dropped off. 28s and 27s at the moment. And there's the Evergreen Wayne Warren having a shot. Recovery for a first start that looked to have blocked the treble 20 for Dob Robertson over there. And then that goes down to the way that obviously she throws it because they are very flat. It doesn't, it doesn't shouldn't affect her as too much. But again, that didn't affect Sherrick. She put in a customary ton. So Sherrick to go at 1 2 4 first. So, she'll go across the treble 18 now, and she'll probably stay there. So, Anastasia's going out, one, two, three. Will she go 19s? Got to. So, now it's treble 18 for the ball. Treble 20 to leave double top. So, which way are we going? Are we going treble 20, double four? We are. 16 to leave double. No, back Wait, up to that, that top. Double top that she loves. It's a treble 20, I'm sure. Single 20. The double top. 40. So now, can she tidy up? Double five. The finish would have been so good, she'll be disappointed with that. Not very much so. gives, a, gives a great opportunity to add her down. I think that goes down as a steal, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. That was a steal. After Fallon breaking back, after that one, then losing that one again, it's. it's so hard. I mean, well, it, the, the, I mean, now Anna's going to be up, and if, if she can get this one and hold the break, she looks then favourite to win the match. One hundred. 
goes back to what we were saying earlier. Does a break really count as a break until you hone your own throw afterwards? The way these girls are playing, no. It's, I mean, or the ladies, I should say. It's, it's, they're both capable of breaking each other's throws. So both going, they're both capable of going 13 darts and under. So... Some adjustments to a flight there. We just quickly saw a glimpse of. Adjusted to good effect. Fallon Sherrick there down to the 19s. We've already seen this take down once by Anna, so will she go for it again? I think she would have done had she hit the treble 17 there. That's a crucial last time. Just to keep a little bit of pressure on. 78 for Anastasia with treble 18 at double 12. Oh, that's a bit, a bit snatchy. Let's pull that into the nine. Well, I think it's a little bit of a let off there for Fallon. A ton here from Sherrick would really put the pressure on that 78. 60. Three well thrown darts there, just, just got no reward. So it's now 20 for double top. Yeah, they like to, seem to lack a little bit of just to get up there. So 49 left. Short of it, 17 for double 16. Oh, nine for top, sorry, nine going. for top. Nice. 17 double for double 16. 16. Oh, that's next door. Did she shake that because of the, of the last three, last dance at the double top, do you think? Or? Possibly. Sometimes it's a good thing to change it up. I don't know whether... Oh, Anastasia's done the same and ended up in the double six and not the double ten. It's double four. Not happy with that one. It just, it just, you just think something needs to just tidy this leg up and grab it and say, right. That was a positive dart. Double two, double one. Six. So after all the good finishing we had in the first four or five legs, we now find a leg that we're really struggling to finish. Those, that was a break <laughs> yep. throw again. As you say, that was most probably classes to steal back to Fallon. I, I think, that, yeah, that's, we're on a steal apiece here at the Scottish Open in the ladies' final. 40. And the police aren't even in the building today. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Fallon won't be happy with those two visits. Those scrappy legs that, that take a bit of getting out, I mean, they're, they're oh ones that you don't get back, do you? They're great ones to win, although they're difficult to win and, and, and what have you, but they're, and they're not, you don't get the most confidence from them, but you, those scrappy legs, when, when you lose one you just, and you've had all those darts, you just, you just don't get those back sometimes and they can be big turning points. Yeah, it's, it's how you bounce back from it. I mean, Anna's obviously, she lost that one being scrappy, but she's come back with two tons. So, you, you know, she's most probably come back more focused. Seems to have done that with three tons on the trot. It hasn't seemed to have phased her. Or is she, or is she being, uh, has she been happier throwing against the darts? That's why we've had these couple of breaks. Have they felt more comfortable against the darts? 
Yeah, so I suppose it's, it's the old adage, isn't it? That if the first player's missing and you're, you're, you're going in afterwards, they took two bad scores, you put two good scores together, the confidence grows. Katie here will totally turn to complexion. One hundred and forty. Still give Anna the Anna's favourites, still to break again. Yeah, she still held the throat. She still held the darts, or turned the darts, let's say, into her favour because she didn't start the leg. Just at the wrong time, he didn't need that. Good recovery with the last, though. But it's still Anastasia. So we go bull or we go double, treble 14? Treble 14. That's the single 18 for the ball. I think she just went for the big part of the 18 there and maybe thinking about the dart of the ball before she threw it. So now double 18 with that great dart, double, treble 12, tre double 9. Right in the corner to hold a throw. Good score here. We'll put Fallon as favourite. I think we can honestly say that Anastasia has probably dominated the first part of the game and, and um, has now found oh, after a, a couple of uh, well, the iffy leg, the scrappy leg that she lost to go 3 3, and now she's uh, chasing the game. Yeah, because of a good leg there from, from Fallon. A good finish there on 72 to take a 4 3, to take Fallon Sherrick 4 3 up. Nice cover there. I know a lot of people tend to go back up for the 18s, but I think sometimes the treble 17 just to leave, get the 90 is, is just as good. Well, then from that 370, that's the way the Dutch kind of line of thought is, is that you can go 100, 100, and then shoot the 170. 140. So, 145 by 140. It's all about these three darts now. To say from here that it, it should go down to a final leg shooter. Oh, she didn't want that with the last dart. I think the. Uh, Body language told all our viewers that. This is another treble 20. Treble 18 now. Uh, 115. I think she'll go treble 20. Yep. Down for treble 19. Treble 19. To leave the double, double 19. 19. Oh. oh. Right on the wire. So it's treble 18 here for Fallon for 78 for the match. So she's hit a four, so she'll treble 14. Oh, how unfortunate. So that's next door, 41 left. So it goes the nine on the one. Is it nine for double 16 or one for double tops? She's gone with the nine. So now, now they're going to split it. I think she's splitting it. Yes, she has. So double, double 14. Six, oh, no. Double 16. <laughs> Well, that was a risky, risky manoeuvre there at that point. Not if it comes off. I think, I think, um, like I say, if I was going to split it threes next door, I'd have gone at it. And, but once you've done it like that, and she's hit the leg, she's hit the double. That's all history now. It's down to this leg. Take one of these ladies something special to win it. I think a big score yeah, could so turn this game now. Uh, a couple of trebles on a visit could turn turn the leg on its head. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, 
100. I think as you go down the last leg, the average has showed there's nothing between the two ladies on all counts 25 1 2 and a 25 18. 100. Again, a good visit there from Fallon. I thought he needed from Dob Robinslover here, really. And that, is that dark too close to the treble 20? Sometimes you can be too close, can't you, with your first? Especially if you. <coughs> With, with the way that Anna throws being very flat, if it's just above it, I, it almost probably does block some of it off for her. She's, she's been better, like a couple of 140s that we've oh, seen her hit yeah. have been when the first dart has been under the treble 20, yeah. and she she kind of glides the, the, the dart over the top. Start down the bottom, going for 133 down there to leave 170. Good thinking. Still a bit to go with this. Still a bit to go with this. Crucial last game. Fantastic last start from Fallon Sherrick. Vital, you'd think. Anna never gives anything up, that's for sure. So double 16. For the match. Oh, the double seven again. So this will start treble 19 like she did before. Treble 18 for the bullseye. Treble 18 again to leave 32. So it's double nine for Sherrick. One for double four now. Double four for the match. So, treble 14, double 16, I would pursue here. 20 for tops. Double top. Oh. That did that seem slightly rushed. It was a little bit quicker than, than darts before, but it's... Step back, I'm sure. It's double one for the title. Ooh. Fine margins. <laughs> the title's a one and lost on fine margin. It's 20 for Doc Robinson over. She's hit this double already. That's it. Game of two halves, that the doubles were fantastic in the first half of the final. And the second half, they just seemed to not quite happen. Is the pressure of the situation, do you think, in the final? Or just one of those things? I think so, I, th I think so. I mean, both ladies really wanted to win it, goes without saying. Um, but there we go, it, it, our stage is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage for the fourth time, the Scottish Open Ladies Champion, Anastasia, the Lawrence 